Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Today I am going to talk about 15 more summer flowering plants that we can grow from February onwards. Please note that we have many plants for the summertime and I already have one video where I have discussed about 25 best plants for the summertime. Anyway, let's take a look at the today's list and see which plants we can grow in the summertime. Number one plant which is in our list is Etsyman's. Quite a beautiful plant but unfortunately many people are not aware about this very very attractive plant. They are grown from very small rhizomes and we can start growing them from end of December onwards as they take quite a long time to grow well and bloom well. If you like you can still grow them in February and you are going to get lots of flowers in summer. The second plant is sand pepper vine. It has many other names and I am writing the names on the screen. I bought the plant from Amazon and that time it was quite small and here you can see it's blooming. They start to bloom from around February onwards in my place. On number 3 we have gold sour or sour of gold. Extremely attractive flowers as we can see and it's actually a very low maintenance plant. Whether you provide them either whole day of sunlight or even 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight, they are going to bloom really very well. On number 4 we have Gailardia. Again one extremely beautiful plant and if you are looking for lots of flowers in the summer, then I would highly recommend you to grow the Gailardia. They are also very low maintenance plant, bloom really very well without taking much care and that's why we should grow Gailardia in the summer time. I grew all of my Gailardia plants from seeds and I already have video with complete updates. Anyway, I have detailed video on some of the plants, whatever I am going to show you here and for some plants for which I haven't done the video yet, I would do that very soon. On number 5 we have Mexican Petunia. Again one very low maintenance plant and in many places they grow just like wild plants. Many people also don't appreciate the beauty of Mexican Petunia but I would say that the blooms are really very attractive. Petunia is the next plant and again it's a low maintenance and easy to grow plant. I grew my titania plants from the seeds and at the time of growing I was not expecting that they, they would grow something like this. On number 7 we have Tibu China. I am not going to say that it's a very easy to grow plant, it's actually not. I would be uploading the video on Tibu China very soon and I would be showing you lots of updates. Edenium is the next plant and I believe you already know about Edeniums, they are quite popular. I am able to see the buds on my plants and hopefully they are going to bloom very soon. On number 9 we have Balsam. Now here is one very interesting thing that we can grow the Balsam either in the winter time or even in the summer time as well. The footage, whatever you are looking right now, it's from the month of December and here you can see it's blooming really very well and they bloom the same way in the summer as well. On number 10 we have Caladium. Now Caladiums are not grown as flowering plants, instead they are grown mostly because of their very very attractive leaves. You may not know they bloom as well but sadly blooms are not that attractive. On number 11 we have one of the most popular summer flowering plants which is Portulaca and Parslen. You can grow the Portulaca or Parslen either from the seeds or cuttings really very easy way and they also bloom really well without taking much care. Only one thing you need to remember they are succulent and that's why you need to be very careful while watering. On number 12 we have Crossandra. Crossandra actually doesn't prefer too much direct sunlight and if we provide them bright light or even morning sunlight let's say 1 to 3 hours that much is perfect. 
On number 13 we have Flame Violet. It's one of the best plants for hanging basket and similar to Crossandra, Flame Violet cannot tolerate the direct sunlight. We need to keep them only in bright area. Next plant is absolutely rare and it's known as Desert Cassia. They are actually kind of shrub or we can say they are kind of trees and if you want to grow them it would be better if you use bigger pots let's say 10 or 14 inch. Finally the last plant in our list of summer flowering plants is lotus. Sadly I don't have any footage of lotus but this year I would do it anyhow and it's the top priority. So guys these were the 15 more plants that we can grow in the summer. Like I said before there are way too many plants that we can grow and I already have many videos on such plants. For example here is one of my video like 10 summer flowering creepers and climbers. Similarly on this video I have talked about 10 rare permanent plants. Many of them bloom in the summer time as well. And similarly here in, here in this video I have talked about 15 best plants that bloom throughout the whole year almost. Since I already have videos about more summer flowering plants, I am not including all those plants in this video. Because if I do, this video would be unnecessarily long and trust me I really don't want to waste your time. But still, if you want to know more about more summer flowering plants, then I would recommend you to watch those videos and I would put the links to all those videos in the description box. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.